Okay, this is 5745 West Maranta. And we're kind of in the southwest section of town. Um, a couple of unique things about this house that I did not expect to see is Maranto is out there. And this is another address, 5755. You access 5745 with this driveway here, which I'm assuming is probably a, a, an easement. So the, the property, uh, it's worth checking, but the property is probably here in the back. And then the driveway is an easement that's in part shared by uh, them. It's probably their property that, that this property has an easement on. Anyway, uh, parking's a little restricted. You got a couple of room for a couple of cars there, a couple here. And uh, if you open that gate there, there's a little bit more. The garage has been converted, so there's a wall inside there. Uh, and, and it was being used as a gym. Could easily be converted back, I suppose. This is the, uh, I guess it's the main shutoffs for the solar on the back of the house. This is the cap for the septic tank. And this whole area here is probably a leach field for the septic. This house is unique in a couple of ways. Caught my eye for one particular client because of the one story layout and the number of rooms. So as you come in the main entrance, there's kind of a, a large common area. Looks like perhaps this wall could come out to open up this space even more. Same with the kitchen. This little thing here might be able to come out to open up this space. That bar doesn't need to be there, of course, but it might be useful. Just kind of one big open area here. This is an exterior door with a dog door on it. Half bath back here. Just a toilet and sink. Simple kitchen. That's gas. Is it? Might be propane. Good question on that one. Might be propane. Yeah, you got electric over there. Maybe we'll see a water heater or some other gas appliances as we go through, but it looks like it's all electric. So the doorways are kind of narrow. Wood floors. It's kind of a storage box here. Kind of a thing. A little bit larger room here. Door is narrow though. Yeah, this looks like a tile here. Yeah, there's another really narrow door there. Accessing this tub and toilet. Pocket door. Narrow door. Yeah, I think this is real oak flooring. It's kind of cool. You don't see that very often. So here's a much larger room. That one's got a narrow door as well, but it could be opened easily. This one's got uh, doors going out to the patio. Pretty cool, I like that part. Great big shower here, next to a toilet. So this is kind of a master suite here. A couple of skylights in this house. So that's kind of, uh, that's the main house. You got one, two, three, four bedrooms here. As you pass through the laundry, you get to the garage, which was being used as a gym. Not sure what used to be here. Maybe it was a central vacuum perhaps but the garage door would have been there so if you take out that wall 
put in a motor for the garage door opener. You're back in business. I still haven't seen a water heater anywhere. And if you go this way, another skylight, you enter into a kitchen that's adjacent to the laundry and the garage. And this is kind of another separate little apartment over here. So quite a large living room, good enough sized kitchen, two more bedrooms for a total of six. This one's very small, but it's big enough and it's got a closet. Another bathroom here? Yeah. Another bathroom, stand up shower. An exterior door that goes out to that, that big long driveway. Let's go in the backyard. So, this part of town is developing. So you're seeing a lot of what we see right behind us here, which is uh, some graded pads and you're gonna have about eight new houses back here shortly. So this is being developed, looks like by Richmond America, Richmond American. It's a quiet part of town. There's a nice swimming pool over here that's heated. A little bit of artificial turf and a koi pond. I don't know if they're actual koi. There are fish in there. They look like goldfish to me. Just big goldfish. Is that a koi? I'm not sure. Is, is koi just a goldfish? Yeah, the pool's not in great shape. Quite a lot of plaster work um, expressing itself here. So this is a, you know, $15,000 plaster job right there on the pool. Unfortunately, that's kind of a bellwether type of a thing because if, if there's expensive things like this that were left unattended, there's likely to be others, but not necessarily. I'm just saying likely. Looks like there's three package units on top. Those are all heat pumps. No gas lines going up to any of those. So I don't see any gas utilities here. But I also don't see any water heaters. So there may be areas that I haven't accessed yet. Oh, there it is. There's a special little room here just for the water heaters. Let's see if it's open. Let's see if the key will open it. Nope. Well, it looks like you got two. There's a little room there in the back of the house with two electric water heaters. There's a loop for a, for a, I don't know if you can see that on the video, but there's a loop in there as well for a water softener, but no water softener. Interesting. So this, this house caught my eye for one client in particular, and who knows, it might work for them, but I wasn't counting on the, the easement access. Huh. Let's see what it's listed at. I think it's 1.1 million. Close this up. Yeah, kind of a track to get back to the main entrance here. Here we go. So the original construction was in 1994. Yeah, it's listed now 1.1 million. Six bedrooms, four baths. That's including the one little half bath there though. So call it six bedrooms, three baths back in this way. And uh, they're calling that extra apartment an attached guest house with kitchen. Yeah, I guess that, that counts. Not too bad. 
Well, that is 5745 West of Moronto, and it's being listed at 1.1 million. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a nice day.